I'm Rohan Jason-Derrett, and since retirement, I haven't seen most of you, but I have been working out and I've been exercising. Well, I don't teach and rub the board anymore, so I must do something to keep my arms fit. So what I have done was trying to play with some weights. I have two dumbbells, and uh, when I see these dumbbells, or whether I walk or talk or play my drums or do anything, there's always one person that comes into my mind, my favorite scientist. And my favorite area of physics, Newton and Newtonian physics. So where does this Newtonian physics come in when I was looking at my dumbbells? Well, the idea is if I would carry the small one, which has a smaller mass, well, compared to the big one, it has two big masses, two small masses. And I pick this one because it's easier for me to carry. But if I were to just hold it up, well, there is Newton's physics very well. Because if I were to hold it up, if I let it go, you know it will fall down. So I'm somehow trying to overcome the force of gravity. So the word force comes into play. So now, if I were to try and move it forward from, from rest, from accelerating it forward, well, I feel something in my head. But on the other hand, if I were to move it very, very slowly, I wouldn't feel that bad. My arm wouldn't hurt as much. Now, I can do the same thing with the bigger mass. And if I were to do that, hold it up or move it in the same way, do you think I will feel a greater force or a less force? Hmm. Let's think. Oh yes, heavier mass. Same force. Aha. No, 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 same acceleration. Hence, yes, F equals MA. So the force that I apply would be proportional to the mass and I feel it. Well, the question is, what do you think? The mass, the two small masses, and I'm twisting it. Am I able to twist it at the same rate if I were to carry the heavier mass? What do you think? Do I need a greater twisting force, or in physics as we call a torque? Is that good? Or is that easy? Now we spoke about the twist. We spoke about the twist. And we thought if the twist is related to the mass, well, if I look at that, that should be easier to twist than this. But in reality, you will see that this has, I'm applying not too much energy, but you could see that it is, it is twisting much easier than this. Is there a Newtonian law regarding that? Hmm, yes or no? Well, the answer is yes. Newton's law for rotation of motion. Tau equals I alpha. Torque is equal to moment of inertia times angular acceleration. But, ah, what is moment of inertia? That's what I would like to serve here. If you look at it here, the two masses are far away from my pivot point. And even though their masses are small, it is hard to twist. Whereas this, easy to twist. Even though I have two greater masses, they are much closer to the axis of rotation. So, the moment of inertia is dependent on mass, but it also depends on the mass distribution. So, to find that even better, I found in my yard one of these stakes. So, I thought I would bring it in. Steel. If I hold it at the middle, I can rotate it very easily. Why? Because the mass is evenly distributed. But now, if I move my hand to one end, the same mass, same mass, now rotating it would be much, much, much more difficult. Okay. Mass distribution at its best. Easy things. These are things that you can find in your house. Enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. God bless you all.